Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a very requested video and it's my room tour. And I, if you guys have watched my last video, or I think it might have been the video before that, um, I told you guys that I changed rooms in my house. So I was in the room across the way and now I'm in this room because it's got a balcony and a lot a bigger closet. So I just um, got a lot of requests to do this and thought it'd be fun to film it for you. So I'm kind of going to film this in vlog style and not everything in my room is uh, completely ready yet. I need to order my Ikea desk. Why is the camera so freaking red? There, that's better. Um, I do have a little setup going on for my makeup over there, so I'm just going to show you guys everything, and yeah, so if you have any questions about where anything came from and I don't mention in the video, then be sure to comment in the comments below and I'll get back with you. So let's get started. So entering my room, this is the door, um, yeah, it's got lots of like coloring on it because this is a really cheap door and I'm going to get it removed and get a new one soon so I just thought I'd color on it because that's really mature but anyway this is from the view from the door <clears throat> and I'll just give you like a little... so to the right you have this little chest thingy and sorry because I don't really know how to explain furniture or describe it but that's what video is for right so anyway it's this and I don't know where this came from this is a really old piece this was my mom's and she gave it to me, and so I don't know where it came from. But, you know, there are similar things out there if you really like it. So I guess I'll just show you what's in this. At the top, I have my beloved Nancy Drew books. I love those books. Beside it, I have a stack of bangles that I don't know where else to put. And a little Christmas tree, but I thought it was really cute for winter, so I just kept it there. The second shelf is all of my nail polish, and I had it in a drawer in my other room, and now it's all on display, so I'm really happy about that. The last shelf, I have a couple Victoria's Secret lotions and all of my lip products, um, or most of them. And then I have a few, like, delicate necklaces here, because I don't want them to get tangled up. And then in the corner, I have this really gorgeous watch with a little uh, yellow bird on top, which is from World Market. So this is all my lipsticks, and I have them organized in these little acrylic organizers, and I got them at Bed Bath & Beyond. So, and then these are little glass doors. So I really like the glass doors because I can just kind of see everything before I pick out what I want to use. Okay, so then I have this little, like, carved out spot for my perfume. So I have my Chanel, Victoria's Secret, you know, all of my perfumes here. Um, most of them I do have body sprays in a different section. I'll show you in a minute. And then on this side I have a little dish of my favorite jewelry. Um, so this is just like the jewelry I wear every day. And then a little kabuki brush back there. I don't know why it's there, but it's there. And then my phone. Okay, so in these drawers, excuse me, these, these are junk drawers. I have my elastic hair ties. Um, I've got some of those really cool like tattoo uh, sending permanent tattoos, and then a couple extra sunglasses and a phone charger. In your drawer, I have my little EOS balm, and in here I've got like Reese's chocolate, more chocolate. That's my chocolate chapstick drawer. And in these little doors down here, okay, on the camera everything looks super junky, and I look disorganized. Anyway, I have like warm winter hats, like beanies and stuff right here, and my business cards, and a couple frames that I'm not using right now. And then in here, I have a big book, and it's a Nancy Drew book, and then a few bags that I kind of grab for. And then in the back are my perfume sprays. So I'm really organized, as you can tell. This is my bed, and it's a queen bed. And um, the covers I actually got from Target, and they were on sale for $27. So I was like, that's going to look really cute with turquoise because I love turquoise and orange. And then I have my feather pillows. So this one is from Target. This is actually a cover from Dubai. I have some family living in Dubai. And then this was from my grandmother and I don't know where she got it. And then, of course, my pillows. So I do four pillows. <laughs> I sleep with four pillows. I know. Kind of ridiculous. Then this is a really cute art piece-ish and it's from Target and it says enjoy the little things and my sister actually made it for me and it has photos of our trip to New York. Um, we went to New York last September if you guys checked out the photos. I don't know if you guys knew that but it was on my Instagram page. 
Then my little desk side table, which I know it's kind of big for that area and I'm going to get a smaller one, but for right now it works. So this lamp is from Target, I believe. And then the little cute squirrel is from World Market and he's my favorite little friend. And then these are my drawers. Okay, earphones and iPad. It's a mess, I know. If you guys have any tips for organizing junk drawers, let me know because I'm so bad at this. And then in this, I have my books that I read. It's my history book, uh, magazines, etc. Magazines, books, and notebooks. And then this is my balcony. I don't have it. Let me unlock it. I don't have it fixed so that I can walk out there very much. It doesn't look very pretty. But I'm right on a main road. And let's see if I can open this and show you. Yeah, my neighbors are right there. And there's the city. So that's that. I don't spend too much time out on the balcony, but I do open the door sometimes and get fresh air in because it can be a little claustrophobic at times. <laughs> My windows on this side, and these are the drapes that I use, and they are also from Target. And then I have custom shutters here. Then I have my weights, my chair, a little drape over it, a little blanket. So this has been my like makeup station while I'm waiting for my Ikea desk. And there's me, hello. Uh, this mirror, Target. And this little thing is I think from, I wanna say World Market. I think it's from World Market. So I just have that and then my brush is on there. And then over here, this is cooling down because I just did my hair. I have this Target lamp, Target-like thing about love. It's really pretty, I like it. And then my jewelry box. So this dresser, I don't actually know where I got it. It goes with that piece over there, and I had it since I was a little girl, so I don't know where it came from. But basically, I have some of my makeup up here, and I did a makeup organization and collection video. If you're interested, I'll link it below. And then I have all my palettes and other makeup products. This drawer is filled with unorganized t-shirts and workout gear. And this drawer are my like jeans and workout pants. Now we're going to enter the realms of my closet. So this is my Target bag. This is the bag that I've been using most. So it hangs on my closet door. So when I leave the room, I just grab my bag. And here's my closet, which is, if you guys saw my other room tour, I think I did a room tour in my old room. It's so much bigger. So this is the initial view. Yes, my closet has a window in it. So, straight away you see this wall of random people's faces and basically it's just my makeup inspiration wall. So these are taken from like a 1962 McCall's magazine, all these photos. Um, so this is just like my makeup inspiration. These are a few makeup inspiration photos. This was, um, these are a couple of my prom photos. That's me and my dad. That was me and my friend and all that kind of stuff. And then this was me and my sister and our friend from New York and that was taken in New York. And then a little sweet note. To the right of my closet I have my shoes on the floor there. The ones that I don't use as much. Actually no, those are the ones I use as much. The ones I don't use as much are up on my shelf. So I have those up there. And then yes, it's a little junky over here. It's just like travel makeup bags and my piggy bank and my Harry Potter books. And then I have my clothes and my clothes are color coordinated. So I've got like patterns and bright colors, neutrals, blues, and blacks, and then a random red coat. Um, so that's how I have my hanging clothes organized. And then I have a couple. This is a dress that I got from, um, a family. They gave it to me. And then I have this little hanging thing from Ikea. I believe it's from Ikea. And it has all of my hair products. So my, my hair dryer is in the bathroom. But it typically it's there. And then my straightening iron goes here. This was my prom dress. Which I actually have used a couple more times. Um, for like weddings and stuff. And then my soft Ulta bathrobe. Okay, so I have this little Ikea like faux fur mat on the bottom. Which needs to be centered. And then I have a couple more pairs of shoes in my hair bag. It's got like my tripod and my book of hair inspiration and some cream developer and color and stuff like that. 
And then this box contains all of my undergarments. The box is from Tuesday morning. And then down here I have my box with like my hairbrush and hair bows and ties. And then this box this is like a little note that I got. And uh, some gummies. <laughs> I know, random. And these are all of my like sleeping things. And that's my hair apron when I'm doing color on her. And then I have a little cloche up there. And then my window. And this is the view I get from my window in my closet. Which is kind of nice. It's pretty. So that is my room tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's not 100% done, but a lot of you guys were requesting it, so I thought, why not? I'll just show you how it is so far, and if you're interested, I can do an update later on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're curious about the makeup that I'm wearing and you want to see a tutorial, then just let me know. I've actually been playing around. I was super, super inspired by this one makeup look by Evangeline Lilly. Let me get the picture. I always love her makeup, and this is the one that I was inspired to do. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but I love her makeup artist and I love her makeup. So I was like, well, I'm just going to recreate a look. If you guys are curious to see a tutorial on this look, then just let me know in the comments below and I would love to do it for you. Um, and of course, if you have any other video requests, put it in the comments below and I always get back to my subscribers. So thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. Mwah.